Have you ever wondered if hydroseeding is a viable alternative to native planting? Hi, I'm Matt Highway from Living Water. In this video we're going to talk about why we think hydroseeding of native sedges is a viable alternative to planting. So we're here at a site uh, adjacent to Lake Ruatuna in the Waikato, New Zealand. And uh, it's, a, it's a standard field site. We've retired a small seepage area on a dairy farm. And we've trialled hydroseeding three different species. Uh, they're all Carex uh, genus, Carex uh, sector, Carex geminata and Carex virgata. And the reason why we've trialled those is because they're very common in restoration planting, particularly on drains and waterways. One of the reasons why we chose Carex is uh, we can spray over top of them with both broadleaf herbicide and herbicide that kills grasses. So that means that uh, we're killing most of the 99% of the weeds that are going to impact our target species and we can really see if these uh, plants flourish. Now Carrick sector is uh, doing quite well. We're getting about uh, one Carrick sector pop up in every square metre which is about the same as what you would plant them. Um, and this is costing around about 40 to 50% less than it would for conventional planting. So hydroseeding is essentially just a slurry mixture of water and some material and a whole bunch of seeds. Uh, in our case we're using erosion controls liquid soil, uh, which is uh, water, tachyphyes, compost, a range of things that can actually allow us to apply seeds to steep surfaces. Now this is really important to us because we want to see how this works in riparian zones which often have steep banks. This site is delineated up into lots of different microhabitats. Uh, so at the moment, best case scenario is uh, that we can establish for 400 seeds down, we can establish one plant. So we're in the hydroseed and trial site now. And in front of me here is uh, two examples of hydroseeded carrot sector. Uh, now it's really great to see them um, established in this part because this is a riparian zone uh, and this is probably the most kind of available habitat for these guys. Uh, it's a very widely planted plant. Um, the other great thing is many of our riparian banks, uh, particularly um, drains around uh, lowland areas, very, very steep, very hard to get down into and plant. And as I described before, this hydroseed mix we're using is, uh, and there's none of it left on the soil, but is very sticky. It sticks to the surfaces, uh, could even be vertical banks, and allows the seed a little microhabitat to grow and dig their roots in. Um, so places, it opens up places that are quite unavailable for planting, uh, but can be an option for hydroseeding. So watch the space, because by October 2019 we're going to be finished this study and we hope to have some really good results. What we'd really like from those results is uh, something practical, applicable to you, that you could use. So stay tuned.